Hello, everybody. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. Both quarterbacks have reliable tight ends they know they'll be able to count on to make plays. It's Walker's Titans going up against Travis Kelsey's Chiefs. With that, let's welcome in our fine broadcast team. Here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Larry, from one of the loudest venues in the NFL, there's a look at Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. The scene just a few moments ago, predictably loud and raucous here at Arrowhead as their beloved Chiefs took field, and they are set to match up with Marcus Mariota and the Tennessee Titans. Hello again, everybody. I'm Brandon Gunn here in the booth with, as always, Charles Davis. Charles, a lot of times in the open, we focus on quarterbacks, running backs. What about the tight ends in this one? Well, I think LR identified it really well because the tight ends are matchup nightmares nowadays. Who are you going to cover them with? Because really, they are pumped up wide receivers who can flat out run and use their body to create bigger plays. Cover them with a linebacker, cover them with a defensive back. Either way, they feel like they have the advantage. Now Ryan Suckup, the former Chiefs kicker, is ready to go, and we are too. We're off from Arrowhead. That's fielded in the end zone. And he will be brought down here at about the 17-yard line. Here come the Kansas City Chiefs, and the quarterback under center will be Alex Smith. And this year, you know, they started out red hot, 5-0. and Then at the end, they're in a fight to make the playoffs. So Alex Smith, has he done enough to be the man under center? Maybe Patrick Mahomes gets another shot in the future? What do you think? He has done enough to remain the starting quarterback in Kansas City. But will he is the question. All right, you're exactly right. 5-0 and start. Big fight down the finish to try and make the playoffs. A big win over the Chargers in Week 15 that gave them a leg up. But the bottom line is when you draft Patrick Mahomes that high, when you move from 27 to 10 to make that selection, chances are they're going to want to see Patrick Mahomes under center. And he's going to be brought down back at his own six-yard line. Well, so much for setting the tone of the drive offensively. Giving up a big sack that loses that kind of yardage, not a great start. First carry now for Kareem Hunt. And he's going to take this up past the 10 to about the 11. Give him four yards there, but still in a big hole. Third and long. This is the offense we're going to see coming up in this one, and Travis Kelsey will be key. What a tremendous weapon he is, especially in the red zone. Knows how to find the end zone when running his routes. I don't think this is the script they had in mind for their opening drive. This is third and long. Out of the gun, Smith. And he's got Rome. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the 20 at the 18. Call it a pickup of seven, and that's going to make it fourth down. Fourth down on is Dustin Colquitt to kick this away. Here's Jackson. It's a 49-yard punt, but subtract nine there for the return. And it'll be Titan football. Tennessee Titans jogging onto the field. They'll be led by their quarterback, Marcus Mariota. 
Now, this is a group, Charles, and the Titans. They were rolling for a while. Winners of six to seven in the middle of the season. Then they had close losses at Arizona and San Fran. Kind of put a wrench in what they were hoping to do down the stretch. But focus on Mariota. Has it been the year that he had hoped for? No, not at all. Because I think most of us expect him to take the big jump here in year three as a starter in the NFL. He's had some injuries. He's taken away his mobility. He's had some leg injuries, and that's hurt him a little bit. But you just mentioned close losses to Arizona and San Francisco. Teams that are going to the playoffs should find ways to beat those two teams. All right, this is that type of a year. And Marcus Mariota said it himself. He's not played his best football. In fact, got frustrated and had a rough media encounter before mom called and said, you need to apologize. I did not raise you to be rude with the media. And that's exactly what he did. Offensive starters, here they are. And Delaney Walker, Charles, it's a guy that you and I said we wanted to discuss a bit. Yeah, and we should because, remember, he came out of college as a wide receiver. So he's one of the early guys to move from a wide receiver position to tight end and still run routes as if he were a wide receiver. An excellent target. A play fake to Murray. Now Mariota. And this one caught by Delaney Walker. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. A Titan first down, Mariota to Walker. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. Now here's the first carry for DeMarco Murray. And this time the yards won't come so easy as they'll in fact tackle him behind the line. Every year I go to the combine and marvel at the speeds that linebackers are running nowadays. They run like DBs. And let's face it, they know how to finish plays too. Eyes up, head up, run right through them. They go with Murray again, and he'll be brought down at about the 42. The gain of a yard gets them back where they started. Now it's third and 10. And a glance now at the Chiefs' defense. Justin Houston is an elite edge pass rusher, and he has the speed to get upfield quickly, and offensive tackles have to respect that. But also, he has great hands. Ability to get their hands away from his body and then make a move either inside or outside to get to the quarterback. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Working out of the gun, Mariota. And an alley to run. Look at the spin. Balance. And he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. 13 yards is the pickup for Tennessee and a first down. First down, Murray. And he'll be brought down at about the 25 after a pickup of four. Tough running there. That's a hard-earned four yards. Yeah, those are the unsung kind of runs. They don't fill up the stat sheet, but they do set you up in good position on second down. Second down following the run. They'll try to throw now. Mariota. They'll get nothing out of that one, and it's going to lead to a third down.
seventh play of the drive upcoming here on third and six. From the gun, Mariota. And that is incomplete. Well, too much oomph, too much mustard there on that pass. They really turned it loose, didn't they? Really cut loose with that one. Sharp, strong. Didn't lead to a completion, though. Made it very difficult. Here's Ryan Suckup for the Titan field goal. Right hash mark of 42-yard attempt. And Suckup will put this one right through. And the Titans hit the scoreboard first. It's three to nothing. Well, it's a night game, a lot of energy in this building. But the visiting team here, they get the ball in the opening drive, and they find a way to at least produce three. And things are just getting started, so you can't say that they've taken the momentum totally, but a good start towards seizing it in this game. Suckup now set to kick it off following the made field goal. That'll be taken in the end zone. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards all told as he's taken down back shy of the 20. Now the Chiefs offense, they get ready to head on the field. And the first drive, three and out. Second possession, see if they can get a little momentum. And oftentimes that first drive is just a feeling out process. You have some plays that you've got called and you want to see how defense reacts. It may not go terrific on the first one. Now they're ready to go. They've kind of got a look at them, got a sense. Let's see if they open things up a little bit. Let's see if they open things up. Let's see what the defense does here, too, after a good stop. To begin the drive, here's a handoff to Hunt. And he'll find some space up to about the 25. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Now, Kareem Hunt, the rookie out of Toledo, what a year it's been for him. Well over 1,000 yards, and you would have to think sitting right near the top for rookie of the year. Yeah, he's had a monster year and exploded week one, opening night against the defending Super Bowl champion New England Patriots. He announced his presence, didn't mm -hmm. he? and continued on and really had a monster year. I think Leonard Fournette's going to be mentioned from Jacksonville Jaguars. Alvin Kamara from the New Orleans Saints has really played well. I predicted Christian McCaffrey in preseason, and he's had a fine year. But I don't think it measures up to what Kareem Hunt has done. I think Alvin Kamara is his closest competitor. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. A look at the defensive starters for Tennessee. One of the areas of need for the Tennessee Titans in 2017, an elite safety. So they went out and signed Jonathan Cyprian from the Jacksonville Jaguars. I expect them to pair him with Kevin Byard, a sort of rookie in 2016, and provide a strength for a defense that's looking for help down the middle. And the offense looking to pick up the first down after the second down incompletion. Smith on third down. Able to find Harris complete. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. That one good for 12 yards in a Kansas City first. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. Smith with a give to Hunt. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll make it second and a foot or so. That was a good, strong run there. While one picked up a first down, it was definitely something needed by that offense. 
a positive run. They got a good push by their guys up front. Maybe something they can build on as this game continues. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. They'll run it now. This is Chuck Hendrick West. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. But just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. I know what you're thinking out there. I know a lot of you are thinking, take a shot downfield. It's a great spot for it. I'd say maybe later in the game, definitely in the second half. But right now, I think they were just trying to get some momentum built. Get a first down, pick it up, and keep moving. They go play action here on first down. He's going to hit a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Logan Ryan. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And, Brandon, the passing game for both of these teams is going to be affected as the game goes along. It's not looking like the Reen's going to let up anytime soon. So that might mean a few more wobbly passes and wide receiver slips. And this one winds up getting intercepted. The Titans offense now, they get ready to do battle again here. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> <laughs> Not one that I've ever met. They begin the drive with a run by Murray. And he'll take this up only to about his 18-yard line. Two yards on the pick up there. It'll be second and eight. We haven't seen much from him running the football here in this first quarter. No, you're right about that. We haven't seen much of him at all so far. They've stacked him up pretty well. But when you're trying to run the football, sometimes you've got to play the long game. Keep handing it to him. And some of those runs that aren't working now, they turn into six, seven, eight, and maybe more later on. Mariota now on second down. Oh, look at the juke. Call it a gain of three. And just like that, it's third down. And an extra DB here for the Chiefs on third down. Pass situation. From the shotgun, it's Mariota. And he locates Walker, complete. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. The Titans get 14 yards there and move the chains as well. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed, picking up the first. Offense comes to the line now, first and ten. Now a play fake here on first down. And Walker with it over the middle. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this into enemy territory across the 40. A very solid gain of 27. All right, I'm doing my rudimentary math here. That's his third catch here in the first quarter. I don't know if it's just game plan or he's just finding his way open. And maybe a little of both. So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. He'll try to right side with Murray. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. 
A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Footing's definitely going to be an issue because it's tough to make those quick cuts that you're used to making on a soggy track. In fact, the Hall of Fame runner once told me, cut on your heels in this type of weather. Gives you better balance. Now a second down run for Murray. And little room to maneuver there. He gets it down to about the 39. One yard officially on the pickup, and it'll leave him with a third and 11. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. On third down, Mariota. And it's brought in by Eric Decker. They get seven there, but it brings up fourth. Boy, the evolution of the game and how these guys in plays like that can get out of the pocket, keep plays alive, it just makes things so much harder for defenses. It really does, and we're talking about an era in the game where the quarterbacks are the most athletically gifted that we've seen in a bunch. I mean, when you talk about collectively, it's unbelievable. So their ability to move is practiced now. It's not necessarily, oh, he just took off and you guys figure it out. When he takes off, everyone knows where to go now. They know how to run routes, change things, make themselves presentable for the quarterback. That's a lot of time that they put in on it. It's not just your static one, two, three. This is where the ball goes anymore. The NFL on EA Sports is presented by Snickers. You're not you when you're hungry. Snickers satisfies. With the former volunteer Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. It's the Titans with the football here to begin quarter number two, as we'll see one following the score on the final play before break. Now here's Suckup out to kick it away. This fielded at the two. Oh, look at that. Alex Smith and company heading back out there now. And he comes out on the heels of an interception he threw last time they had the ball. Yeah, and you know, the quarterbacks that I know that are the best ones, the ones that really know how to lead their team, they tell them, that's on me. That's my bad. But let's go back out there and move ahead again, guys. We can get this done. One good thing for him, it did only lead to three points and not a touchdown after that turnover. Big thanks to the defense. They'll begin the drive with Hunt. And he'll get across the 20, but only to about the 22-yard line. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Not much happening there on first down. I thought there might have been a hole for a split second. Yeah, but it dried up pretty quickly, didn't it? Closed fast. To throw on second down is Smith. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. It came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. A nickel set shown by the Titans on third down. Thinking pass. Throwing on third down, Smith. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here, he's the one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, unable to hold on to the football. Here's Dustin Colquitt now. On for his second punt. He'd take a repeat of his first. 
He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. With it is Jackson. They'll call that a punt of 59 yards. Tough to do better than that. And possession will switch hands first and 10. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Yeah, Run what you do best. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. Mariota now to throw on first down. He'll be tackled shy of the 35. Shifty footwork gets him a little extra on the play. Give him eight on the play, and that'll bring up second down. fake. Mariota. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And now running right through it. Holding offense. Umpire threw the flag usually Just always something. indicates holding and that's what we've got. And you know, depending on their positioning, where you are on the field, the umpires get different responsibilities, but always, always making sure no one's holding. It's moving in the wrong direction here now as they face a second and 12. On play action, Mariota. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Walker. And he takes this one just shy of midfield all the way to the 49. A good pick up there, 26 yards. There are so many things to watch for when you play defense. And reading your keys, you always hear about that, and having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that play action there? And it sprang the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. here it's a loss of a yard there and now second down that goes down as a loss against his rushing stats but really should he have to absorb that one he had no chance on that play before they overwhelmed him pretty much on top of him before he could take his first step Again, it's Murray. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. First down, Titans gain of 12. Well, that's how you get right up off of the map, because on the last play, they stoned him in the backfield and dropped him for a loss. But he's the type of guy that scared me a little bit because he's not daunted. Just got right back up, showed some confidence, and picked up a first down with his very next run.
from the pistol. They run it with Murray. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Came out in a power set, but that only served to put more men in the box. And guess what? If you're going to do that, you've got to win up front, right? Your offensive guys have got to beat the defenders. They lost all leverage on that play. the former Heisman winner. It's Derrick Henry. They showed off the athletic juke. Good little gain there. Not a whole lot of real estate, but a nice carry. But you've got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. The Titans on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and four. To throw is Mariota. And this is going to be incomplete. I'm not sure we could spot any tendency here on this third down. They could have run it or passed it. Either one was available. They chose to try and get it through the air, but they run successful. Here's Ryan Suckup for the Titan field goal. On the right hash, officially, this will be a 51-yard attempt. And this kick is not going to be close. It's well short, well right to boot. And this score will stay right where it is. I tell you, it's not easy kicking field goals in the best of conditions. Yet in a downpour like we're in right now, it makes it that much harder. And sure enough, they can't convert here. Smith and the offense heading out for their next possession. He's got to dig deep here, doesn't he? Team's losing. He's not playing well either. And they always tell you, don't press. You'll make things a little bit worse. But in this particular situation, you try and heighten your play a little bit. So far, he's thrown one interception. He wants to balance that off with at least one touchdown pass in order to get his team back moving forward. And because they couldn't hit the long field goal, they are set up nicely offensively at the 41, first and 10. Now a first down throw, it's Smith. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Avery Williamson. In from his linebacker spot, he's able to drop him for a loss of about 10. Well, that play was the very definition of fast, quick, and in a hurry. Suddenly, he was there. In a blink of an eye, that happened fast and a big sack. Smith going to give this one to Hunt. And some space here. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. Sometimes those lines that are drawn on a grease board or in a playbook, they come to life <laughs> out on the field, don't they? And we just saw that on that outside handoff to the right. That right tackle, he gets excited for that call, doesn't he? He does, because he just wants to dominate his guy and say, listen, I was the point of attack. I took care of business. That's why you're able to get downfield and add all those yards to your total. Yeah, really nice game there. They run again with Hunt, and they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Well, add that play to his resume reel because he went to the Pro Bowl last year, 
that's how you go to the Pro Bowl. You make plays like that, big time penetration, and throw people for losses. Here's Smith now on second down. And that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. I tell you, Brandon, this defense is playing with some confidence. Haven't allowed a point yet. Flying to the football. I'm telling you, it's almost 11 to the ball on every snap. Another nice job there to force an incompletion. The Chiefs on third down. Just one for three thus far. This is going to be third and 13. A shotgun snap for Smith, and that is incomplete. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here, but that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open, and this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass, incomplete. Here's Dustin Colquitt now as he's on to punt for Kansas City. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. The Titans offense now, they work their way back onto the field. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, get this a little time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. Here's Murray now as they run it to start the drive. Looking for a scene, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Well, a well-executed blitz, no doubt. Great job by the linebacker. Maybe the quarterback, if he could have seen that, could have audibled there. Yeah, he needed to be in a different play because that one just meshed perfectly for the defense. All the gaps were filled, except for the one the offense really wanted to run through, and that was filled by a big man wanting to make a tackle. And he made a great tackle. Second down, Mariota. And some room to run now. And he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field. So let's see about the call. Holding offense. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. That's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. Penalty, it's Murray. And a very short pick up there across the 15 to the 16. He'll get three, but it leaves him with a big hole here on third and very long. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far, and after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. Third and long here for Mariota. And this is caught, but I don't think he stayed in bounds. No, he didn't. It's incomplete. The throw took him past the boundary, and it's fourth. A third down, he tried to stay in bounds, did all he could. He caught it, but it was led a little bit too far. Yeah, that's always difficult, isn't it? Because you know half of your body is trying to stay behind while the other half is reaching out, trying to catch the football. The top half worked. It was the bottom half that was in question. On his Kern, the punter, to send this one away. Now, fair catch is called for and taken at the, we'll call it the 37-yard line. 
Now Sharkandrick West heading back onto the field. You can count his carries on one finger. They've only given him the rock one time, Charles. What gives? So we can't draw any conclusions just yet. He has to touch the ball multiple times in order to get into a rhythm and have a chance to have success. You know who else gets into a rhythm? The offensive line. They feel better about what they're doing when they know they've had multiple opportunities to get it done. Yeah, well, the conclusion we can draw so far, they're losing here in the second quarter. Let's see if they change tunes. They'll start with Hunt on the ground. Looking for an opening. Not much there. He'll get it to the 39. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. Well, he's looking for some running room, and there wasn't a whole lot of it there on that play. I think he was lucky to get a couple yards out of it because those defenders, they were rallying to the football pretty quickly. They'll run again with Hunt. He'll get about three as he's brought down right around the 42. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blows. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. Smith now to throw. He is going to find Hill here. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield across the 45. A Kansas City first down. Smith finding Hill that time. And that's how you pick up a first down. Not only does he make the catch, but has enough body control to get his feet down inbounds, toe-tapping and dragging to make sure he gets it done. So the ref takes a peek here, wants to see if the receiver had possession and both feet inbounds. If this were a college game, this would be a legal catch. It's the second foot that they're looking at to make sure it gets down. You have to have two inbounds in the NFL. So the offense took the timeout. Looks like they're ready to go as we get set to resume the action. So the offense has it first and 10. Seven. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave them with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Hunt. And after the good game last play, this time they say, uh-uh, as he's going to be stopped behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of one, and that'll make it third down. Wow, that play got shut down in a hurry. As soon as the snap came, you could see defensively they were just closing in. That was going nowhere. Yeah, you count on your offensive line to give you a little bit of space, a little bit of time so you can make a move. There was none there for him. The Chiefs on third down. Two for five to this point. This is third and four. They'll run it now out of the gun. Well, he's taken down, but not before picking up the first thanks to a flashy little spin move. That one good for 12 yards in a Kansas City first. Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, so if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it.
On the run, this is Hahn. Looking to find a lane, but he can't rein in at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Don't forget, coming up at halftime, we'll take you to Orlando and Larry Ridley. Larry will have the highlights of this first half, but he won't have touchdowns because we haven't had any to this point. But there's still time, though, partner. Ten yards still left on second down. Smith going to leave it to Hunt on the draw. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. It'll be a pickup of five, and that leaves him with five more. Third and five now. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to a back. The Chiefs on third down. They've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. This will be third and five. Smith turns and gives to West. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. Now another timeout here called by the Titans. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. So the defense had a chance to catch their breath, and now they're back out and ready. So on fourth down, Andy Reid decides to send in the field goal unit. This is a 40-yard attempt from the left hash. And the kick by Butker is good. And they are on the board, trailing now 6-3. to three. Well, at least they won't take a goose egg into intermission as they do carve out three points here in the waning moments of quarter number two. Yeah, it hasn't really been the greatest of first halves. They've looked out of sync, especially on the offensive side of the ball. But a field goal here at least gives them some momentum as we tick down toward halftime. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. And right now we spotlight DeMarco Murray. He's hoping to get it going. They're hoping to get him going, too. You know he's about ready to pop one here in the second quarter. He's hoping. And his offensive line teammates, they want to get one of those, too, because they want to continue to run the football. Most offensive linemen like that part of the game better than pass protection because they're not taking blows. They're right. actually dealing them out. So what they want to do is show the coaches, hey, if we pop one, we're having success. That way they won't go away from the running game. They'll be hoping to pop one, break one here this go around. Mariota on first down. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 13 yards is the pickup for Tennessee and a first down. First and ten, here's Mariota. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 13 yards is the pickup for Tennessee and a first down. 
We didn't need to ask around the league, but we got to confirm this guy's a good player. They've got to find a way to get him more involved, call a few more plays that target him. Absolutely, because here we are toward the end of the first half, and that's the first target, not just the first catch, first target. First down throw for Mariota. To the sideline. Wow, what a catch. Doesn't get a lot out of it. But he is able to keep the feet in bounds. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. I know they don't like to hear it when they get to a certain age. But then you have to start to use your, your skills, your wiles, right? Your mind to beat guys to the football. And getting your toes tapped in bounds definitely qualifies as that, doesn't yeah, it? The veteran showing he still has the agility. Now a second down throw for Mariota. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. That would have been a great catch, but it's real difficult to hold on to it because it was contested all the way. Would have been a great play if he'd been able to haul that one in. The Titans on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This will be third and five. Mariota again. And he's going to be sacked. They sack him back right at the midfield stripe. Derek Johnson in there to drop him for a four-yard loss, and it'll be fourth down. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. And we are back here. I'm Brandon Gaughan alongside Charles Davis. So the offense takes a timeout. And now we're set to get going. Here's Brett Kern now as he'll punt it away for the second time. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. And it's out of bounds. Now we'll see what the side judge says. He says out at the eight-yard line. Thanks, Brandon. Thanks, Charles. And welcome to our EA Halftime Report. I'm Larry Ridley. Both the Chiefs and the Titans are having some issues finding a way into the end zone. They'll both look to improve their play on offense and pick up some touchdowns in the second half. All right, let's do this. Here's the first half highlights. Chiefs heading out on their opening drive. McCain's got the sack here. This will go as a loss of 10. Third down from the 25. Alex Smith finds his mark in coverage. And he won't be brought down until he makes it to their own 37-yard line. Now first and 10, defense will get to the QB here. This will go as a loss of 10. here at the EA Sports Studio. We'll head back now to Kansas City for the start of the second half.
Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. Here's Eric Weems now on the return. Oh, spinning away. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. And the Titans getting set to go. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone, you know, not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try and figure out what is working, and call more of that. Second half starts with a run by Murray. And he'll get this only up to about the 35. A gain of three, second down. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. Working out of the gun, Mariota. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. Nine yards on the pick up there, and it keeps the drive alive. We always talk about having to read defenses and how complicated that is. Well, this was an excellent read. Read the pressure and got rid of the football before it even got to him for a nice game. And when they're blitzing like that, running back usually a good spot to go with a football? Without a doubt, because he's right in your sight line or he's near you. So you're able to just get it to him easily. And once he gets in space, that's usually a good matchup for him. So here we go, first and 10 now. A play fake to Murray. Now Mariota. His throw incomplete. Eric Decker, the intended target. That'll bring up second down. Well, speaking of incomplete passes, we had a very controversial incomplete pass in Week 15 in that Steelers-Patriots game, did we not? In the city of Pittsburgh, it wasn't incomplete. Right, <laughs> yeah. For them, it's, it's tough. They won. If they you're won, a Steelers right? fan, that was not an incomplete pass. That was a touchdown. But by letter of the law, having to... Catch a football as a, as a receiver is going to the ground. He has to survive the ground, holding on to the football firmly. But letter of the law wasn't a catch. Right. The problem is, you put 100 people in a room, that looks like a catch. Right. So then the question going forward is, does that rule need to be changed? Well, the competition committee tried to define it clearly two years ago. I think they'll be back here this spring, once again, trying to clearly define what is a catch. Because right now, a lot of people are confused. Mariota from the gun on third down. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. Well, pretty good coverage there in both of these defenses. They've had good coverage throughout this one. No doubt about it. And in today's NFL, where we're used to a bit more scoring, this feels almost like a well-pitched game in baseball on both sides where the tension continues to build. Who's going to make the big play? He gets us away. It's a good one. Drawing toward the sidelines. And this is going to be ruled out, I think, just inside the 20. Yes, it will. Side judge calls it at the 19-yard line. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. They were able to get the stop defensively. Now a chance to turn that into points on the offensive end. Can you imagine what the grease board looks like at the half? Because no, tell me. that's exactly what they printed up. Stop them on defense, get the ball back for our offense, and go downfield and score some points. Now, the last part remains to be seen, but they got the first part done very well. Do people use grease boards, or you mean the magic marker boards? Yeah, those two. <laughs> <laughs> now it's Hunt, and he's going to lose yardage here. Back to his own 18. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Now that play was doomed right from the start. They just about ran into every defender on that one, didn't he? It felt like everyone got a piece of that tackle. Go, go, go. 
They run with Hunt. And some room to maneuver. 25 yards to pick up there and also a first down. I know that play went to the left side, and that's what it was designed to do, an outside handoff there. But how about the whole offensive line being involved? Seal the left side where the play was going, what they call play side. But how about on the back side? Just taking care of business to make sure no one can get there and disrupt it. Is the biggest key the left tackle? Without a doubt. Control that edge. Get out there. You want that left tackle. If you bring your tight end over there, Either way, control the edge of the line of scrimmage, you got a chance to rumble. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. So nothing there, but maybe you blame that on the blocking. Yeah, at some point, you've got to win at the point of attack. And on that play, that was all the defense. They made it happen. They'll try the air now with Smith. No, he almost had it. Already with one interception, just missing his second there. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum, big play, right in his hands, unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense, and that fell harmlessly to the ground. The Chiefs on third down. Three for seven so far in this game. This is third and ten. Out of the gun, Smith. He's got it to West on the dump off. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. Six yards on the pickup, and that'll bring up fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses. It's understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. Cole quit on to kick as he sends it away. Titans offense now. They get set to head back out here. They're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball into their territory. And tough starting field position here. They'll try and get the running game going here with Murray. And he's not going to get out of the end zone. Murray is taken down for the safety. Well, I think you can go ahead and give your punter an assist on that one. Pinned him deep, and the defense comes through with two points. You're exactly right, partner. This was all set up by a great punt. And if the ball goes in the end zone, this never happens. So great call. Give the punt team and the punter some love. Now the free kick comes after the safety from the 20 as they bring the punter on to try and get some hang time here. Free kick out of bounds. Kicking team. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. Automatic first down. here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. Well, he didn't make headway on that one, but he's had plenty of carries all night long. I just wonder if maybe he's a little bit tired from toting the rock that much. So second and ten here. Ready. 
They go play action to Hunt. Now Smith. He's going to go for a big play downfield. It's caught inside the 25. And he'll take it down deep into Tennessee territory. It's a big play there for the Chiefs. 51 yards. Now they've been struggling in the passing game. Do you like the aggressiveness there? I mean, it worked on that play, but do you like it? I do because a lot of the time you're struggling because your passing lanes are clogged. That usually happens when you're throwing the ball underneath. People start to press up on you, push them deep, find some space, and open things up again. Being aggressive there, I think, will pay off for them. They'll run. This is Hunt. And they go the wrong way here. Knocked back to the 20. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Well, forget about finding a lane there. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. Probably fortunate he was able to hold on to the football. This is Hunt. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. A great play there. Taking it in from the 20. And the Chiefs are in for six. Well, partner, that was another explosive run. And one thing I've learned in our time in this game, yes, the offensive line has to get a lot of credit. But for big runs to occur, the wide receivers have to block well downfield. And then you have to have a good guy carrying the ball, too, right? Oh, without a doubt. You need that difference maker lugging the rock. So they're going to go for two. They're going to try and run. And he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage. Back at the six. So the defense gets the stop. I know it's situation to situation, but who has more pressure there, offense or defense, when they go for two? I, st I truly believe it's the defense has more pressure because the offense has an entire playbook wide open from the two-yard line. You can run it. You can throw it. So defensively, I think most teams are going to be aggressive and force the issue and try and bring pressure. now to kick this one away. Adore Jackson on the return. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. They go play action here on first down. And that is incomplete. Eric Decker was the intended receiver. And now it's second down. So that pass goes awry. But to make a quick pivot before the game, you and I were going through the list of 1,000-yard receivers this year. Some familiar names, yes, but a couple that are back on the list and then a fresh face. Yeah, you're exactly right. Now, you, men you mentioned guys that we're used to. Antonio Brown, well over 1,000 yards again. No surprise there. Gronk. He gets it done. You know, you, let's face it, he's one of the toughest matchups in the league. But Michael Thomas with the New Orleans Saints, 
Really nice rookie season 2016. He made it legit this year going over a thousand yards. And then you look at Keenan Allen and DeAndre Hopkins. Welcome back to the yeah. thousand yard list for both of them because you expect them to be there each and every year. And finally, they'll welcome to the club an <laughs> undrafted Thielen. free agent from Minnesota State named Adam Thielen. You're exactly right. What a season he's had for the Minnesota Vikings. Off play action to Henry. Here's Mariota. And they can't get the long connection as it falls incomplete. And we're into the second half now. This is an offense that continues to struggle to sustain a drive. Looks like they're just totally out of sync, whether they're running the ball, passing the ball like we saw there. I don't know. The rhythm seems off. Here's Brett Kern now as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. This is taken at about the 14. A big kick there. We'll call it 56 yards on the punt. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. Kareem Hunt and the rest of the offense making their way back out there. He's looking sharp here so far in the third quarter, Charles. It appears that the halftime gave him a little bounce. You know, came out, spring in his legs, a little pep in his step. And he's taken off and running really well in the third quarter. Sometimes we talk about how guys don't want halftime to come. And some guys, they're happy when that break gets there. You never know which way it's going to go. He's taking advantage of it in this one, though. They'll run it now out of the gun. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. And that's one of the few times they've been able to contain him. He's had a heck of a game, and maybe he's getting a little bit tired from how many times he's carried the ball. But I always think back to what all those old coaches say. The ball's not that heavy. Keep carrying it, kid. Now Hunt. And he'll find some space up to about the 25. He's able to rattle off six on the carry, and that'll get him to third and four. They're trying to show that they can run the ball, protect this lead, give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. The Chiefs on third down. They've converted three times and eight chances. This is third and four. From the gun, here's Smith. And an alley to run. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. set of downs here. Here's Hunt. Not much there. Maybe a couple up to the 35. Looks like they're establishing a pretty good pattern here because they've been very heavy in the running game on the last four plays. Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth. So far, four plays in this drive, all four on the ground. Let's see what the offense comes with here. Second and eight. Operating from the gun, Smith. And the Titan defense steps up here and down he goes. How about that? One of the so-called little guys putting the pressure on. That was a strong safety. When I was in college, we often called that a lightning blitz. So the sack of Smith, and now the Chiefs coming up facing third and long. Here's Smith. And this is going to be incomplete. 
Well, no second guessing the call here. It was third and long, so throwing the football was probably the smart play to try and pick it up. But they don't get it, and now the defense goes off the field feeling pretty good about themselves, gaining some momentum as they force them into a likely punting situation. Here's Dustin Colquitt now as he'll come on for his fifth kick of the night. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Out come the Titans now. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. They run again with Murray. He's seen a ton of action tonight. And he'll take it ahead to the 28-yard line. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Three yards to go on second down. They go with Murray again. And not a whole lot doing there as so he'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. They'll run here. It's Murray. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. And five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. I think I saw a lot of shoulders just drop there. And what I mean by that is they finally were able to relax a little bit because that was an important play call. They needed to pick up that first down at this stage of the game. Yeah, couldn't afford another quick drive and out. So they pick up the first down after the run, and now they approach for the fresh set. handoff it's Murray and he'll be taken down right around the 34 after a pickup of only a yard nice job by that defensive front there to hold him to a short gain on first down well played I must say yeah only getting one yard there was no room to run here in this Thursday night matchup. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. We're back now in KC. It's Titan football here as they trail to begin the fourth quarter. Trying to throw now. Mariota. Looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. They couldn't hook up with Decker that time, and it's third down. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he led him just a little bit too much, trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground, incomplete. The Titans on third down. They're hitting at just 30%, three for 10. This is third and nine. 
Play fake to Henry. Now Mariota. And he finds some open field. It comes, and he lost the football. Mariota had it jarred loose. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, and that could have been trouble. Well, that was a big oops right there. But how about his ability to correct it? Loses the football, able to get it back himself. Yeah, pounced right back on it, keeps possession. Here's Brett Kern now, as he's on to punt for Tennessee. And that one hits a little too close to the goal line, and it continues into the end zone for a touchback. Out now the Chiefs offensive unit ready to do battle again. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. To begin the drive, here's a handoff to Hunt. And hit behind the line. He lost the football. It's loose. It's picked up by the Titans. And they are going to take possession of the football inside the 15 at the 14-yard line. Well, that takeaway, partner, right there, that's a combination of coaching, execution, and absolute belief. Because a lot of guys will look at the scoreboard and go, ah, this thing's pretty well done. But they still thought to themselves, if we could make a play, we give our team, we give our teammates a chance to win it. And that's exactly what they did. Here's the Titan offense now as they make their way back onto the field. They were forced to punt last time. Now I doubt sincerely that they'll have to punt here because they're gifted with terrific field position. I don't even want to think about the idea that they would end up punting starting with this type of field position. Neither do they. Great starting spot. Great opportunity to run your full playbook. If they want to take a shot here, they can go ahead and do it. And a great spot to start this drive from here. A 20th carry coming up now for Murray. And he stopped after only a yard, taking it down to the 14. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, Hard to get them started again occasionally. See if they stay on the ground for second down. From the gun, Mariota. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. It's a lot of contact going on there. And in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. The Titans on third down. They've had a lot of chances, but not much success, converting only three times. This is third and nine. From the shotgun, it's Mariota. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the nine. It's a four-yard pickup, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. One score down, here we go. They're gonna go for it here on fourth down. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And he's taken down, a chief sack. Derek Johnson in there to drop it for his second sack now here tonight. 
So they finally get their first trip to the red zone, and it ends with nothing. And that's what I'm going to focus on with you because you teed it up really well. Finally get to the red zone. So it's got to be a little bit of frustration because they haven't moved the ball as well as they wanted to all game. Now they get there, but we got to go for it because we don't know if we can get back here again. We don't know how many opportunities because they've been sputtering a little bit. Absolutely. At this stage in the second half, to get there and not get it for the first time, tough. And now here comes Kansas City. And yeah, last drive, obviously not what you're looking for. You've got the lead. You've got to protect the football. So in other words, someone got lucky because <laughs> they've been moving the ball really well and wearing them down. In this case, though, giving up the football, doesn't make them very happy. They can't wait to get back out there and atone for it. Yeah, try to atone for it here on this drive. Smith with a give to Hunt. Limited running room as he'll get about three to the 21. Well, Brandon Pace comes into play now because they've got the advantage. They've got the football, but they've got to be very careful about what speed they're going to play. You know, my, my music teacher back in New Paltz, Mrs. Bifema Bagley, used to say, don't go prestissimo when you really want to go largo. And what she meant by that is don't go too fast when you really want to go at a nice, slow, deliberate pace. I am speechless. I am without speech. Up past the 25 to the 26, a gain of five. Well, with the fumble he had earlier, we, we know how key keeping the football is here. That fumble earlier probably at the forefront of his mind. Just hold on to this thing. It's also at the forefront of the mind of the guys who are trying to get the ball from him. And since they've seen him drop it on the ground before, they're doing everything possible to have him do it again. They need that turnover. On third down, that's Hunt. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. And there's a nice stop for the defense. They've had a tough time containing this guy all game long, but maybe they can build a little bit off of that play, a little bit of confidence, a little bit of momentum. Yeah, every now and then you can actually tackle that guy. Here's Dustin Colquitt now, as he'll come on to kick for a sixth time tonight. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. And here comes Tennessee as they get sent to take the field. And last time they were very fortunate this offense. They went for it on four, turned it over in their own territory, but the other guys held up. They didn't give up any points. So how about the guy with the number one headset on the sidelines, the head coach? <laughs> that was planned going into it, not necessarily to not get the first down or to, to have the defense have to hold but it up. But he trusted his defense. Trusted his defense very much, and I think that that's how he's going to play this game. Go for it. Be aggressive because I've got the wild bunch backing me up over here on my own side. <laughs> now we'll see what his offense can do. First down, Mariota. Room here to run. And he goes out of bounds across the 40-yard line. 23 yards on the play. fake here on first down to Decker over the middle and he'll be taken down but not before getting this inside the 30 give him 30 yards there 
there will always be a place for methodically marching the ball downfield. But when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that, have explosive plays, that's often the difference in winning and losing. Those types of plays that can knock a defense off balance, that'll drive a team towards a victory. And now a first down following that long game. Mariota to throw it. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. It's a gain of six on the play, and it'll be second down. down. He finds Douglas complete. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. It'll go as a gain of six that time and it moves the chains as well. I know many people like to throw to the tight end maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. But slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed and their route running savvy. And now the offense operates in the red zone. From the red zone now, Mariota. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. Call it a gain of five, and it'll make it a second down. So we've got a second and five. Now Mariota. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. It's an eight-yard pickup, and it leads to a first and goal. First and goal here from the two. Mariota now. And he's going to score. It's a Titans touchdown. Marcus Mariota taking it in from two yards out. And the Titans have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. I wonder if he changed anything on his play sheet or they just executed better. Because they had two previous drives that ended in field goals before this one they finally were able to put into the end zone. Well, whatever he did, speaking of the offensive coordinator, might be using that formula going forward. It worked there. Yeah, it worked very well. He and his field general in pretty good sync right now. They're starting to move the ball well. Mariota. And he'll get into the end zone. So now a field goal would only tie as they've upped their lead to three. So that effort gives him a three-point cushion and guarantees that a field goal going forward won't beat them. Yeah, and that's really good strategy because that's all you care about. Not getting beat at this stage. At least give your team a fighting chance. Now here's Suck about to kick it away. This fielded at the two. 
<laughs> oh, a heck of a move. Man. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20. Call it the 21-yard line. Now the Chiefs offense, they get ready to head on the field. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, <laughs> realize it hasn't worked so well. Go to so something well, else. And maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. So the false start will back them up five. False start. Offense. That's going to set them back five yards. Still first down. A shotgun snap for Smith. No chance to get away there for Smith as he goes down. Derek Morgan coming hard on the blitz. He dumps him for a loss of eight. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage, look defensively. They run a draw here on second down. And he'll take this one up to about the 13. Give him six on the run. It'll be third down now with still a long way to go to get to the first down marker. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. Third and long, it's Smith. And Robinson with a big catch. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. 23 yards on the play. Big gain. Let's see what else the offense has up its sleeve. Smith on first down. And nearly picked off there. Almost intercepted. Instead, second down. I guess they're in a situation now, fourth quarter, where they're forced to take some chances, but I don't know that that was the type of a chance you want to take. And that one could very easily have been intercepted. If it does get picked off, that could possibly seal this one. So they're still at the original line of scrimmage here. Second down and 10. Smith going to throw again. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. In the early days of the NFL, you could easily blame these drops on maybe some uneven or uncertain lighting in a stadium. Not anymore. The lights are pretty good. Yeah, they're great here at night, but his second drop indeed. Not a good look. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Throwing on third down, Smith. And it's complete to Kelsey. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. A really good pickup of 28 yards. 
An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. It, he's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. On first and 10, Smith. And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. It's a gain of five, and it'll bring up a second down. And, of course, the quarterback in this situation, he's realizing time is becoming a factor. Let's see if they can get some points on the board here late. Here's Smith now on second down. And they'll lose a yard that time, and that's going to lead to a third down. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far, the crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. So it's third and six, and this will be the eighth play of the drive. from him he's been off the mark really start to finish yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on is he a little bit dinged up here or is it just off just by a bit maybe he can get it back in this situation he'll need to and this kick is not gonna get there it's short and no good so they'll come away with nothing here. A disappointing result even on a day like this. And as a kicker in the rain, you've got to slow things down a little bit. Give your holder an extra half second to make sure everything's secure. And here, he might have rushed this one a little, and it winds up no good. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. They have the three-point lead. Defense did their job. Now, late game. Although it looks good, you know the coaches, they haven't counted this as a victory yet. I agree with you totally. Big applause for the defense, but no one has taken their headset off on the sidelines. They don't believe this game is over. The offense has to close this one out by taking care of the football. And they'll try to close it out now. They begin the drive with a run by Murray. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. So a defensive timeout. Chance to regather, regroup, and get set as we resume action. Second down run for Murray. Now that play is blown up. Losing yardage back at the 35. And the Chiefs are going to signal for and be granted another timeout. That'll be their second, so one more chance to stop the clock here. And we'll be back. 
The defense, they got a little bit of a breather. Now they're back and set as we resume play. final timeout so as they talk things over we'll step aside all right so the timeout over and all 11 men back out onto the field for the defense Here's Brett Kern now as he's on to punt for Tennessee. <laughs> Call that a 44-yard punt, five on the return. And out will come the offense as they take over. Alex Smith and company heading back out there now. This is something we've seen many times over the course of his career. Can he pull off another fourth quarter comeback? And it's very strange, isn't it? Because when it's a player of this magnitude, even though the guys on defense have the lead and are sitting in the best spot, they're maybe the most nervous people in the stadium because they've seen this happen to too many people before, too many teams. They've got to find a way to shut him down. Here we go again for the grizzled vet. They'll look to throw. And some room to work. And he's able to get out to the 32 brought down there. It's a nine-yard pickup on the play, and it'll be second and about a yard. Back to throw. And now the ball's loose. Smith loses it. And the offense will get this one back. Boy, that could have been catastrophic at this late stage of the game, but they avoid disaster. He's back to throw. And he's got the first down as he's up to the 45-yard line. First down for the Chiefs. Solid chunk of yardage, 17 on the play. And with the clock ticking under 50 seconds now, he spikes it. have got the passing game rolling a bit and another first down trying to hurry to the line on the very outskirts of field goal range and he clocks it with just over 30 seconds left and on second and 10 now West and he'll be brought down losing yardage back at the 40 so he loses three yards there now third down now Smith he's got it to West on the dump off and he gets this one all the way down inside the 20 yard line that one goes for 24 yards and they're able to spike it with time remaining and now in field goal range here with a chance to get this one to OT. Yeah. 
So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. And a timeout comes in. The whistles blow with three seconds remaining. And now following that timeout, the defense back out onto the field. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. With three seconds to go, if it's good, we're off to overtime. And his kick is good. And that will tie our score at 14. Final whistle blows, and we need some extra time here to decide who will be the victor. 60 minutes, just not enough some days to decide who's going to win the game. And here in overtime, if the team that receives the ball scores a touchdown, it's over. If they don't, we can still have some more football. That's exactly right. If they go down and kick a field goal, the other team gets a possession to either match it or score a touchdown to win the ball game. If both teams kick field goals, the next team to score wins. But if the receiving team throws a pick six or fumbles the ball and it gets picked up by the defense and they score, the game is over at that point. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. That's fielded in the end zone. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. The Titan offense now working their way back onto the field. Except for their first drive here in overtime. And this is where the crowd can really become a factor. They've had to battle it all day, but I know what you're saying. In overtime, that gets doubled, doesn't it? At least, because now the crowd really wants to be involved and help their team. And that first drive can dictate the whole thing because they know if this team takes it downfield and scores a touchdown, it's game over. It's been loud in here so far. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. They go play action here on first down. And he goes out of bounds across the 40-yard line. A really nice gain of 25 yards. So they come out throwing in the extra session and get a nice hook up right away. Tells you a lot about what a coach feels about his team, doesn't it? That type of a play in overtime. So many people in this situation play not to lose instead of playing to win. That throw there tells you exactly what they're trying to get done. Play fake to Murray. Now Mariota. And he's got some space here. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 13 yards is the pickup for Tennessee and a first down. It's lining up first and ten. They'll run it left side with Murray. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. As a DN, when you play the run, you don't always have to make the tackle. Just have to use the right technique to make sure the play goes where you want it to. And in this case, did an excellent job stringing this one out and making the tackle at the end of it. 
and for a loss. And the offense will be looking to get at least some of this yardage back here at second and 12. From the gun, Mariota. That's complete to Taewon Taylor. And he's going to get this inside the 30. The Titans efficient passing on this drive. There's another first down. Brandon, that's a huge completion there. That puts them in field goal range, but let's face it. They don't want three here. They want six. Well, you, with these overtime rules, a touchdown finishes it off. Yeah, look, looking to win it right away. Good to know, though, that they have three in their back pocket if they need it. job there defensively they've really stymied their passing attempts and it continues in overtime and for them to do that that means they've had to be cohesive on defense pressure in the quarterback's face good coverage of not just the the wide receivers but the tight end the running backs when they try and slip out and making sure they're at the point of attack when the ball's in the air they get there and help force some of those incompletions second down now after the incompletion Working out of the gun, Mariota. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. The Titans efficient passing on this drive. There's another first down. So he hooked up with a veteran there. And in overtime, that's not a bad idea. Go with the age and the experience. Yeah, because sometimes the young guys, they give you the fresh legs and give you all that bounce. But in this type of a situation, sometimes those legs slow down a little bit as the enormity of the moment overwhelms them. The veteran guys, they tend to come through. down Murray and they'll lose yardage here knocked back to the 19 yard line that's going to go as a loss of a yard and it'll be second down it's not always as trade as that team wanted it more than the other but on that play it actually was true they were faster to the ball behind the chains here a touch on second and 11. From the shotgun, it's Mariota. Goes underneath for Henry. And he is in for the score! And it is absolute stun silence here as they win it on the road in overtime. A partner, a great game that we got to see and making it extra special. Not only did I get four quarters with you in this one, I got some overtime, a little whipped cream on top. Look at you, trying to make this whole thing palatable. I just want you to pay for my meal later. Hey, you really just wanted four quarters, what you wanted. But how much fun was that? We had that type of a game where we got us to overtime, and then we got the dramatic ending to finish things off as well. What a game. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say good night from Kansas City.